Welcome back to the time now 514. Let's get to the destruction caused by tropical storm Isaias as it roared up the east coast. At least six people are dead and millions right now are without power. The storm spawning tornadoes, dumping heavy rain and also packing wind gusts that topped 100 miles per hour. ABC's Mona Koshramdi has more on the latest threat to those on the east coast. Overnight, nearly 4 million power outages along the east coast. After Isaias tore a path of destruction, this tree smashing into a home in Massachusetts. I couldn't imagine anything. This, this lodge coming down and the way it's come down, it just totally uprooted the thing. In Philadelphia, the Schuylkill River is projected to crest today over 15 feet, its highest level in more than 150 years. On Tuesday, rescuers outside the city pulled these kids to safety from a second story window. I'm pregnant, so I was at an OBGYN appointment. I left maybe a little bit before 10 and it was definitely not like this. Joseph Higgs says the wind destroyed his Delaware home as his family took shelter inside. As we were approaching the basement, I saw the tree lifting up out of the ground. And at that point, that's when I saw the whole back of the house coming off of the property. First thought is, thank God that we're here. God spared my wife, my mom, um, and my boys. So we're here. So I can replace a house. But the storm turning deadly for others. In Maryland, a fatal accident when a tree fell onto a car. In Queens, New York, one man died after being crushed in his truck by a fallen tree. And in North Carolina, two people killed after a tornado slammed into a neighborhood. We took shelter. Just my son and I were here. We ran to the center of the house and, and got in the closet. And then it was gone as, as quick as it started. Along the North Carolina coast, these boats are now piled on top of one another like toys in a tub. <gasps> oh my God! In New Jersey, the powerful winds toppling the steeple of this church. And our cameras capturing the moment a sparking power line exploded just as ABC's Stephanie Ramos was conducting an interview. And this is basically a result of the storm. Power yeah. lines down, causing fires and explosions in That's the neighborhood. Correct. Meanwhile, at the New Jersey shore, many vacationers are taking the storm in stride. As with 20, everything else in 2020, we had a storm to contend with. Monaco Sarabdi, ABC News, New York.